This is a video on squares. This is a squares using Vedic Math Sutras. It's a video number 12, part 5 of 5. I split that video in five sections, and this is the last part here. And in this section, I deal with the squares using the duplexes. And duplexes are come from vertically and crosswise multiplication. Let's continue. Into next section. Let's see what we're going to do here. In this section, we would find squares using duplexes. And duplexes come from vertically and crosswise multiplication method. Let's continue. Duplexes are. What's a duplex? When we multiply a number n by n, which is itself, duplex is raw result in a column. Okay, by raw I mean that it may have multiple digits and we still need to resolve the carry part. Okay, so duplex is raw result in a column. Okay, let's continue here. So let's go over the uh, say what numbers look like uh, our decimal number system a b sum of a i which is coefficient times the rel uh, corresponding base which is 10 power i for i is in 0 1 2 3 and so on okay uh, note that i did not consider a negative values for i but uh, the analysis holds even if you have a negative values of i here. Okay. Continue here. Note that we are dealing with whole numbers at this time and the analysis does extend to decimal fractions. Okay. So a zero is the lowest index or exponent of the base number 10. So this that tells me that I this number a is a whole number. Continue here. So a times a so we will be multiplying it uh, one a by another a, and in the multiplication we multiply one digit from multiplicand, another digit from multiplier. Okay, and a digit is a i, and the position place value of that is given by ten power i. Here, coefficient value of that digit is aj. That's his nominal value, and uh, that's the pl place value multiplier is 10 to the power j. Okay, let's continue. We we would be taking uh, sums for a digit k equal zero, index k equal to zero, one, two, three, and so on. Again, zero is the smallest value for k of k that we still say we are getting a whole numbers as a result where k is i plus j okay so we'll be grouping these sums for various values k for k we'll get a one sum where i plus j is zero zero and k is equal to one we will get another sum from terms multiplicand like the a i plus a j a i times a j such that i plus j is 1, where either i, if i is 0, then k, j has to be 1, and if j is 0, then i would have Okay, now I just repeat that from the previous slide. Okay, this a times a would be some of these terms like this, where k is 0, 1 in uh, k is a non-negative integer starting from 0. Let's continue here. Where k is and k is given by i plus j. i is the coefficient a i and i is the index or power of the base number 10 here and j is the base power of base number 10 in the second term. Let's continue here. In the above a i is the coefficient of 10 i, 10 to the power i from multiplicand, and a j is the coefficient of 10 to the power j from the multiplier. So this term comes from multiplicand, these terms come from multiplier. There are two operands in multiplication, so one of 
they're both same values here so one of them is multiplicand and the other is multiplier let's continue here above some can also be written as so we can combine these two products here and take out the multiple coefficients together and add up the powers okay Okay. We usually concern ourselves with AI, AI times AJ, where place value system takes care of the exponent part, which is 10 to the power i plus j. Here's 10 to the power i plus j. We usually multiply A and AI and j, AJ and place them in the right position such that which takes care of the exponent part. 10 to the power i plus j is the exponent part. So, duplex again, I just repeated that from the uh, previous slide. Okay. okay, so here is a, I'm going to start working on an example here and uh, go over, see how we compute duplexes here. Okay. In the units column, which is 10 to the power 0, so with the coefficient index of the 10 is our power of 10 is 0. And the contributors are here the example here a b c d times a b c d so the four digit numbers and only two digits they can contribute to this product here are d and d so one column on the right okay and so we will multiply d by d and that's the only product we have and some of the such products would be d square so that's d square and in notations we call that that's say duplex of d so d was involved here duplex of d is d squared where we got d squared from multiplying this two digits in the units column here okay and where they go in they go in units column of the result okay? let's continue next column here now we are on a tenth column which is a power one of a ten Okay. In that column, results come from this multiplication or this multiplication. So, in, when you multiply this by this, this is units place and this is tens place. I got a value which is tens place. If this tens place digit and this is one, uh, units place digit, when you multiply these together, I got a result in a tens place value. Okay. So. So here is a CD and here is another CD. So we have a two CD. Here they were vertically aligned together. I got D square. We multiply them together, we got D square. Here they are crosswise aligned together with the, the products were crosswise here. We got two CD. Let's continue here. So I got two times CD and what two times CD is? It's a, a duplex of CD. These are CD here. We would, when we're trying to go and compute squares, we know that the multiplicator and multiplier are the same values. So we just use the operand here. Uh, and so we say CD were involved here, CD were here. So duplex of CD is, the notation is duplex of CD is two times CD and that's the product of this product plus this product continue here our next column 10 to the power 2 column which is 10 to the power 2 is it uh, is 100 and the contributors are we can get product from here which is b 100 times 100 times d or d times b b is b times 100 okay these are tens column here or add this to c and times c okay so this product in uh, 10 square column is BD plus BD which to BD plus C squared. Okay, so that is this product BD plus BD is 2BD plus C squared. So C squared here and notation is that's a duplex of BCD. BCD here, duplex BCD here. When the Pair wise term, uh, pairing terms were crosswise, we got 2BD. When pairing term is vertically, we got C squared. Pairing term vertically, multiply them together, get D squared, only one. Pair them crosswise, 
Then CD, we got two CD because there are two pairs here. Same thing here, we pair crosswise BD, BD. There are two pairs, it's two BD. Then pair vertically, it's just C squared. Okay. Let's continue, next column. Here is my 10 to third column, which is 1000. Okay. In 1000, I'll need all these participant, every digit contributes. So we got AD plus BC plus BC plus AD. AD here and AD here. 2AD. BC here and BC here. This is a crosswise. AD is crosswise. I got 2AD. BC is crosswise. I got 2BC. So sum in the column is there are four parts being added here. There are four parts. AD. AD here and AD here. AD plus AD is 2AD. BC here and BC here. BC plus BC is 2BC. Okay. And we call, what do we call this thing? We call that is a D of ABCD. That's duplex of ABCD. Uh, ABCD were contributing elements in uh, our columns here in this product. So we call duplex of ABCD is 2AD plus 2BC. A and D, that's 2AD, B and C, 2BC. Let's continue. So next column is 10 to the power 4 here. Okay. Okay, let's see now who are the contributors. This unit space does not contribute anymore. Only three digits contribute A, B, C. So here A, C, and plus A, C, plus B squared. That's two A, C, plus B squared. Here is a crosswise, that's twice to that, and here is a two times that, and here is a vertically single, one times that. Okay, so that is equal to two times A, C, plus B squared, and that is a, duplex of ABC. Let's okay, so we're going to, we already have so far gone in you know, this, done that far in the previous slide. Let's continue. So on 10 to 5th power column, which is a 10, 100,000, okay, and only these two digits contribute, okay, okay these are contributors here. We continue here. And so that means AB crosswise and AB crosswise. When crosswise, you have two eyes that. So column sum is two times AB, and its notation we call that's a duplex of AB. Okay, let's continue here. So in that 10 to the power 6, that's a million, um, millions column, and contributors are it's only the leftmost column here, A times A. Okay. A and A are vertically aligned, so it's A squared on product and once only once. Okay, so A squared. Yeah, let's continue and we call that duplex of A. Let's continue. Okay, so we got all of them. When it is a one column, DD vertically D squared. When it's a two columns and crosswise, two CD. And here, uh, this is a crosswise, two BD and is vertically C squared. Okay. Okay, here's a crosswise 2AD and a crosswise 2BC. Here's a crosswise 2AC and here's vertically B squared. Here's the crosswise AB, that's 2AB. Okay. Here's a vertically A squared. Let's continue. Observations. Okay. We make pairs from uh, for multiplications. Okay. We start pairing from outside, outermost digits, okay? then add co and continue to move inwards to complete pairing. In a crosswise situation, we use twice the product. In a vertical situation, we use one time the product. Let's continue here. Note, in a crosswise situation, two digits in different positions make a pair. In a crosswise situation, two digits in a different position make a pair, and that is gives me twice the product. In a vertical situation, two digits in the same position make a pair, and that gives me once, one time the product. Some examples for duplexes. Here's the first example, dit of 5, duplex of 5, which is a, only one term, which is this 5 times 5, 5 squared, and we use it only once of that. So, we, 
I should be skipping one times because uh, just this is just to tell you that it's only one product here. 5 times 5 is 25 and that's what it is, okay? We have now two digits here and they are two in two different positions, so we did twice of the product. 1 times 3 is times 2, 2 times 1 times 3, twice of that product is 6, okay? In 79, the two digits in two different positions, so we got twice the product. 7 times 9 is 63, times 2 is 126. 2 seven times 7 times 9 is 126, okay? Here 441, and there are pairing this, this pair this 4 with the 1, which is different positions, so that's 2 times 4 times 1, and this 4, middle 4, we pair with the same, uh, another 4 in the same position, which is a 4 times 4. So this is 8 here, and 16 here is 24. Let's continue. 190. We pair 1 with 0, so 2 times this twice, and there is a single 9, we pair 9 by itself, that's 81. Okay, so let's say duplex of 190 is 81. Let's continue. 365, we pair 3 with a 5, 5 is in different position than 3 is, so we got twice the product. 2 times 3 times 5 is 30, and plus 6 is the same position, we pair with 6 in the same position, that gives me 6 squared, okay, so 30 plus 36 is 66. Let's continue here. Now we got a duplex of 4, 3, 7, 1, we pair 4 with the 1, which is in a uh, two different positions, so we got twice the product, 2 times 4 times 1 is 8, and we pair this 3 with the 7, and the 2 are in a different positions, and we pair, it's a twice the product, twice times 3 times 7, so it's 8 here, and 2 times 3, 6 times 7 is 42. 42 plus 8 is 50. Continue here. Now we have 5 digits here. 5, 2, 9, 5, 2, 1. We pair 5 with outermost 1 here. 2 different positions. We have twice the product. 2 times 5 times 1. We pair this 2 with the, this 2 here. There are 2 different positions. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 for that position. And this we've got Loan 9 left, we're going to pair 9 with itself, and they get 9 times 9 is only once. Okay, so this is 10 here, 8 here, 10 plus 8 is 18, this is 81, and plus 81 is 99. Okay, 99 here. Let's continue. Here is another one, 19086, the five digits again. We pair 1 with a 6, that's the different positions, 2 times 1 times 6, that's contribution from that. 12 here. Then we pair 9 with 8, which is a two different positions, and its contribution is 2 times 9 times 8, which is a 144. Then 0, uh, loan 0 here, we pair with itself, that 0 times 0 is 0. So it's a 12 here and 144 here. 12 plus 144 is 156. Let's continue. Let's do another example here, D31172. We pair 3 with a 2, which is a two different positions, so we get twice the product, 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. We pair this 1 with the 7, there are two different positions, so we get 2 times 1 times 7, that's 14 here, then we get lone pair, 1 left here, we pair that with itself, that's 1 times 1, okay? So this is 12 here, 14 here, 12 plus 14 is 26, plus 1 is... Let's do some exercises now. Find duplexes for the following numbers, okay? 33, 44, 56, 75, 98, 76, and some more. Now it's three-digit number 368, 400, 161, and some more. Now four-digit four numbers 1368, uh, 5859, and some more. Now, five digit number 60075, 49196, and some more. Let's try to find. We already did duplexes now, and we were trying to do squares. Let's see how do we make a squares from a duplex. Let's continue here. Observation We got duplexes from square. See, when we did the, the table over there in a the, uh, few slides before, a times 8, we were trying to do a times 1. A and we got the uh, duplexes. Duplexes are co column wise raw multiplication results. Okay, we have to resolve the carries. 
Kashan duplex may have multiple digits except for left most position we can only have one digit in the result column a duplex may have multiple digits it's a this will raw multi raw multiplication results and we allow multiple digits only in the leftmost position and I'm assuming that we are going to take the carries to the left we can have only one digit in the results column okay we need to resolve these carries to get the square so that's the for here so d of 3 times 3 is uh, 3 square d of 3 is which is d of 3 which is 9 okay that that's it one that's my answer here no carries to worry about okay that and let's continue another example i've got two uh, 71 times 71 first i do a uh, one column which is a d of 77 uh, that's d of seven as we do d of seven then we do a two column d of 71 then we do one column d of one okay that is equal to 49 seven times seven is uh, single digit here the square of that is 49 and it's two digits here seven times one times two <coughs> is 14 and here is single digit here again is 1 let's continue here so result is this carry comes back here make a 50 here come to the left so we go 5041 71 times 71 is 5041 let's continue so let's do a three digits 395 times 395 so first we do a duplex of one digit 3 then duplex of one more digit 39 then duplex of all three digits 395 then we start dropping columns here duplex of 95 and the drop one more column duplex of five okay so in the leftmost column we have duplex of three and next uh, column to the right duplex of 39 column to the right duplex of 30 395 column to the right duplex of 95 and units place duplex of 25 let's continue and resolve these numbers here so that's nine here and three times nine is 27 times 2 54 here is a 2 times 3 times 5 is 30 plus 81, 111. Here is 95. 9 times 5 is 45 times 2 is 90. Here is 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. Let's continue here. So let's start taking the resolve the carries here. Okay. Use this carry here. This is a 90 here. I make a 92 here. Okay. And the rest of them are the same. Okay. Now here is a carry 9, have a one, one, 1 here, I make a 120 here, okay, 111 plus 9 is 120, let's continue here, now I take the carry 12 here, 54 here, 54 plus 12 is 66, and now I take this carry 6 here, uh, add to 9, 6 plus 9 is 15, so we got 15, 6, 0, 2, 5, let's continue here, so 395 times 395 is 156025. Let's some more examples here. Example is 7952 times 7952. That's a square of 7952. Okay. Now start doing uh, the duplexes. Duplex of 7 on leftmost is 49 column. And, uh, then duplex of 2, 2 to 79 is 7 times 9 is 63 times 2, 126. Now duplexes of three digits now seven nine five two two times seven times five is seventy plus eighty one that's one one it's a seven times five is thirty five plus times two one seventy plus eighty one that's one fifty one now four digits seven times two is fourteen times two is twenty eight 9 times 5 is 45, 45 times 2 is 90, 90 plus 28 is 118, now we got in a 3 digits here, 952, 2 times 9 is 18, 18 times 2 is 20, 36, plus 25, that's a 61 here, now 2 digits here, 2 times 5 times 2 is 20, that's 20 here, the last digit left here, 2 times 2 is a 4, okay, so let's try to resolve the uh, carries now this two gets carried to left the 61 become 63 let's continue here so that's 63 here now six gets carried to the left that 118 becomes 124 let's continue here now 12 get carried to the left so 151 becomes 163 now 16 gets carried to the left so 126 become 142 okay 
Now 14 gets carried to the left, 49 becomes 63. So answer is 63, 2, 3, 4, 3, 0, 4. 7, 9, 5, 2 squared is 63, 2, 3, 4, 3, 0, 4. Do exercise now. Find the square of the following numbers. Okay. A two, a fifty-four. Now two-digit numbers: sixty-seven, sixty-eight, some more. Okay. Now three-digit number: five seventy-five, and some more. Four digit number two six seven nine and some more. Five digit number seven six five zero one and some more. Okay, that's it. Let's look at references here. Okay, first reference is Vedic Math Teachers Manual, Volume One, which is the elementary level by Ken Williams. You can get that in PDF form for free or print form for purchase from VedicMaths.org. Next reference is Vedic Maths by Bharti Krishna Tirthaji and that is the, my main reference for the topic. Let's continue. Next is Vedic Maths for Schools in three volumes and by James T. Glover. Mr. Glover uses these books in his school and they cover lots of topics including some geometry which I I don't cover. Okay, let's continue here. Uh, Vedic Math for All Ages by Vanna Singer is a good book, easy to read, and uh, cover most of the topics. Okay, let's continue here. Then, uh, then I have a figuring by Shkunta Devi. The its a whole title is Figuring the Joy of Numbers by Shkunta Devi. I have used that exclusively in the first section of this video. Okay, that is it.